So here we've got the X1M Pro uh, disassembled and we're just going to quickly go through reassembly, a few little tips and, and tads that um, should help you put it back together without too many dramas. Now here we've got the uh, the top board. Now you'll notice there's this um, this little PC board interfacing uh, between the top and the, the bottom. There's also uh, a second one here at the rear. Uh, now what I've found, w when you separate the two boards, either one of these two interface boards may either stick to the bottom or the top, uh, which, ha which have you. Um, I've found putting it back together that the smaller one in the center here um, keeping that attached to the top one and this larger one to the rear near the RF port for the uh, the filter selection that um, that it's easier if it uh, stays attached to the main board now I found that the easiest way to get these back together without uh, bending any of the pins and what have you and ensuring that they're aligned correctly is to start with the smaller um, the smaller interface now it, it certainly pays to have uh, plenty of good light here so we'll hook in this smaller one first if we can now we won't push it in all the way just enough to hold its place uh, then what we'll do is let's check this focus. Okay, so then what we'll do is we'll um, just lift this rear board a bit and see if we can get this alignment right. Okay, so we'll just check it from the side here. That looks okay, and then just a very light press down. If uh, any of them aren't quite aligned, then um, we don't want to bend them. Now, I've just realised that uh, the smaller ones actually come off, so I'll just redo that. And I've actually got the alignment a bit off. Right, we'll try again. Now this is where it, it actually helps to have this uh, rear panel nice and loose because I'm, at the moment I've, the problem I've got is I'm trying to push this a bit rearwards but the, uh, the panel's slightly in the way because of that uh, jack. Anyway, okay so I think we've got that in there now. Just check that alignment. That looks good. Check the rear again. A little press. Okay, uh, that's looking good. So now we've got uh, the three screws to place back in. Of course, where possible, uh, chuck on an anti-static strap of some sorts. Um, some of these uh, chips on this can be quite sensitive. Okay, now from here, another tricky part. We've got these four um, four rows of pins which we need to get aligned up. Uh, which can be tricky and that's where it pays to um, to make sure that the, the top boards um, align correctly. Uh, I found it easiest to start with the bottom pins uh, while you can see them and just push push them in slightly and then um, once you, you're fairly sure that you've got them aligned Just have a quick look from a different angle. That looks okay. Uh, 
and then we'll work out this top row. Now you may have to slightly flex the board a bit to um, to get this to go in correctly. Now, as luck would have it, I've slightly bent one of these pins. Okay, I'll draw that again. And Murphy's Law, <laughs> it'll take me ten times longer to do it properly in the demo than it did the first time I tried. Okay, that's looking a bit better. Now you shouldn't have to press press very hard on these. They should be a very soft, um, very soft touch, and you should feel it um, sliding in very easily. Shouldn't have to apply much pressure at all. If you do, then um, you may wish to recheck the alignment. Now again, you want to make sure you're pushing that all four in nice and evenly. So that none of the pins get pins get bent in the process. And there we have it. Okay, so from here, it's a matter of uh, sliding this top one back on. And you've just got to make sure you can see there's uh, a couple of grooves here on either side for the top PCB. And there's also a, a groove between the uh, the upper and the lower uh, parts of the case, so just got to make sure that they're all aligned up correctly. And once they are, it should slide in very easily. Okay, so from there. on the front panel and before you go sort of doing up any of the the, uh, the hex bolts or screws or what have you um, just do a quick sort of loose check with your hands uh, but give it a bit of a squeeze and a and a nudge make sure it's all all appears to be lining up okay and then from there it's just a matter of um, matter of putting these four hex screws back on on the front uh, your washer and and nuts, knobs on the, on the front there. Of course, uh, ensuring that these rear connectors are all aligned up. Uh, the two hex nuts back in here, and then tightening these these lower two. And that's it. And of course, power it up and make sure you haven't blown it up. Uh, seven threes from VK three TWO and VK six TWO seven threes.